Welcome back, everyone. Thor, I hope you got your tea. <laughs> we got Rob Strecker, a.k.a. Lurch, is here in the Discord with me. How's everybody's night going? And he's not muted. <laughs> Dr. Jones is here. Uh, you had to be here earlier to, to get the joke. Um, earlier meaning during the members live stream when I, I left him that same opening and he was just dead silence. Um, <laughs> Lobo and G is here. Susan Arthur's here. FTG Mike B is here. Thor is here. Hopefully he's got his coffee. Trucker King. Glad better for 17 months. And we're coming up on a year and a half already. Pugwash is here for the second time tonight. We hours in the morning for him. It's got to be about 2 a.m., I think. Dr. Jones. Or did I already shout out Dr. Jones? Probably. There he is, though, with the emojis doing the fire thing. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, Thor's got an electric kettle. I have an electric kettle, too. It was a metaphor. It means, chop, chop, get on it. I know you just probably just got up, too. Um, Keith Searcy is here. Oh, he's ready now. Okay, good. Uh, da -da 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 -da. For now. What's for now? Nicholas is here, but not staying for long. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, it's... Pretty late for you too. Still open spots for the Sunday Fun Day convoy if you're convoy certified. Um, yeah. If for those of you in the Discord, um, and have participated in convoys before, and if you're not already in Trucker King's Discord, um, hook up with him and you could maybe be in that convoy tomorrow. Um, right. So. There we are. We're caught up. I'll do some shout outs real quick. Nehi Sniper, our top ATS driver for August. Dusty, aka Dirty Dog 3436, our top ATS driver for January. Isabel Hagloff, Pilot Bro 39, Rob Strecker, aka Lurch, Bill Wellburn, Bedrock, our top ATS driver for February of last year. Nicholas, Triple XM, Susan Arthur, our top ETS2 driver for May, Trucker King 2010, XLT 588 Gaming, Omega Sunrise, our top ATS driver for last April and this January, Silent Dilemma, Norwegian Trucker Nicholas, Big Isle 2424, our top ATS driver for December, Johnny Hansen, Hazimified, Big Hard Gaming, Wondering if Picard Gaming is going to make a show in tonight. Lobo 1G, our top ETS2 driver for July. Hugwash, Pretty the Parrot, Harlan, Big Dave KF, and Wim55, our top ATS driver for September and November, and our top ETS2 driver for October. All right. Now, here's some, some Trucker Kings lurking. Here's some programming notes. Uh, in addition to doing some driving, and we'll talk about that in a minute, we're also going to do the runners-up drawing using the Wheel of Names uh, website. So we're for both ATS and ETS. We'll be giving away some runners-up prizes. And then I will talk to you about the new Euro Truck Truck Hunt Challenge that just started today. So we'll get to all that later. Let me hop in the truck. And I'm driving my Western Star 5700X. And I got, I've got a step deck trailer. So, some of you may know where I'm going today, or even where I am. I'm in Colorado Springs at my garage. And we're gonna go up here. Now, I did this earlier today during the members live stream, but I'm going back because I, I missed some stuff and I want the rest of you to see this. Last week, I think it was last week. Maybe it was the week before. Uh, well, during the last two weeks, I did Montana, 
did a little driving along northern Montana and then went through um, the Glacier National Park. Then did Wyoming, did a run in Wyoming, and then drove through Yellowstone National Park. Now we're in Colorado, in Colorado Springs, and we're going to go up here. This I don't think this is actually Pike's Peak up here. Um, well, Nicholas, it was just a one-off thing. So for those of you who weren't at the members' live stream earlier today, I drove Ray Leonard Argosy, the one and only time. So if you weren't there, if you are a member, it's it's a should be available for replay right now. If you're not a member, it'll be available for replay a week from Monday. So you might want to go check that out. Lots of lights, lots of horns, big noise. Carlin is here. Welcome, Carlin. Glad you made it. Okay, so we're just going to deadhead up here and see what kind of a load we can get. And we will check this place out. It's actually kind of interesting. I thought this was Pike's Peak, but it's not. Uh, yeah, Thor says he hasn't been on ATS since. He got his updated skin, meaning his updated skin in uh, Euro Truck. By the way, no, I'm not going to give away the secret. Um, so let's head on up the hill. And I'll go the same way I went earlier because this is really interesting. It really is. So I've got nearly a full clock. And as I learned earlier today, there's actually a sleep trigger up up top. Which is a good thing. I've got full tank of fuel because I took care of that earlier. Seriously, did I just hit the gate? <laughs> Joshua Haymaker says good evening. Hope you all are having a great night. Hey, Joshua. I don't know that I could have swung any wider than that. Swifty or no Swifty? I already put it up there. Oh. <laughs> so now I'm going to go back to the shop and get that fixed. Lord Dragon has gifted a membership. Who's it going to be? Mangani Mincy. Mangani Nisi. The M would be silent, I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know that for a fact, but that's what I'm going with. Joshua asks, what are we delivering tonight? Well, right now we're delivering air. <laughs> Sailboat fuel. Yeah. Well, I came over here both to get a fresh clock and also, hold on, and also to show everybody. 
I got to turn down this motor because it's really loud for me. You know, you got to start doing our sound checks when you're in the truck or in the outside view and the motor's running. Well, I can hear you <laughs> fine. It's, well, mostly I can hear you fine. The problem is that um, truck engine's louder than it ought to be. So what? what is this? It did have some serious damage to the trailer. I don't get it. Anywho. Still kind of loud. This is just a loud engine. Ace, the driver, says, nice to see the Mac Anthem at the back truck dealership. Nicholas says, don't hit your trailer on the way out. Just a reminder. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> or we'll make him back it up. That part was that about me. <laughs> Thank you, Dragon, for gifting the membership, and congratulations to Bangani Nisi. say that this engine is just as loud as the one in the other truck. Cody old JJ man 1982 I guess I can go. Your generosity? Is that what might disappear? <laughs> Thank you, Thor. <laughs> so you're saying when the T kicks in, that would change. I get it. For me, it's the other way around. Adam is back. Hey, Adam. By the way, Adam, I freaked. What the heck? Starting to hate this town. He says, What? You got a Swifty? Got two now. I just hit the curb. I hit that curb earlier today, too. Yeah, I just damaged my trailer. So Adam, uh, I was gonna, I meant to tell you earlier, um, tr try to remember during the next Q and A to ask me to show you that cab suspension system. I did, I did dig up a photo showing the back of my cab. So I can show that to you, but I don't wanna do it during our regular live stream. We got too many other things going on.
Okay. No booty pics. How about 45,000 pounds worth? To the left would be Pikes Peak Highway. Okay. Doom 3 is lurking. Doom 3. Let me do some shout outs while I'm sitting here. Nick, Thor Rasmussen, our top ETS 2 driver for January and April. Ipswich, David874, Matthew Roth, RD04Dave, our top ATS driver for March last year. Trokin Country Bumpkin Simulation, wait not at answer. Douglas Williams, Justin Burns, JC Drives, Lee Jenkins, Bruce A, Thomas Berger, Stobbs, Tazzy 291, Doom 3, Bogdan BD. Nicholas says it needs three marbles. <laughs> I would think so, Elliot, yes. Elliot Hallisey says, Happy Mother's Truckers Day to all you female truckers around the world. Well, I, I know a few. Follow them on Twitter. And Ken Beard says, Hi, all. Hey, Ken. We are doing some serious hill climbing here. Or says, how many slices can you cut from a whole loaf of bread? What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that have to do with trucking? Ask me that on Q&A, and I'll tell you the same answer. I don't have a clue. Nicholas says at least two. <laughs> Jennifer Roth, Rick Rashid, Chris T, Robert Alexander, Andrew Black, Phantom 6767, Ryan, John the Bricklayer, Lee, Zero One Mister, The Driving Gamer, Vigner Hoxson, CJ Johns 31, Oblivion, our top ETS driver for February. Keith Searcy, we'll be working on his truck skin. Uh, so he'll be getting a convoy. Wolf Gaming, James Brandt, Road Trip Nerd, David C, Oztech TV. Dr. Jones, our top ETS driver for July, and our top ETS2 driver for January and February, and he will be, we have a one-on-one -on -one convoy scheduled together for later this month. Moore's answer was one, because then it's not whole anymore. Okay. I think Boomer's wondering that too. How did we get from trucking to bread? Yeah. And 
and marbles. So at least marbles, they were asking how many could fit in the trailer. Good point. this scenery this is some pretty impressive scenery in my opinion I love it up here I don't know that I've ever been on this road in real life but I've been on roads near here Still got that mute button, Andy. <laughs> Pretty, but not much bread here, he says. Thor's got bread on the mind. You should eat something, Thor. going to do that too. that was that a question or a statement statement how many triggers does it take to change a light bulb Nicholas says Hopefully no more than one. changed a lot of light bulbs on trucks and trailers mostly trailers though
coffee. It's better buy some boomers some coffee as if we're going to keep up with these jokes. <laughs> Did you use the link in the description below? You can order anything using one of my links. Nicholas says, but nowadays it must all go through a certified workshop. What, replacing lights? Now I get it that some people just aren't technically inclined to do a good job even replacing light bulbs. But that's crazy. That invisible wall again? Wow, there seems to be a lot of resistance here. I'm da I'm pointed downhill, and I'm not rolling. I should be free rolling right now. With that make note of it send it to tech support well I kicked in my differential lock to get some traction and I didn't want it to be I'm trying to go down the hill. See what kind of loads we got here. I'm gonna load this before. Back load, backhoe loader. Going to Alamosa. Do, 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 do. do we have? I don't want to take a. Oh, wait, that's external market. I want external contracts. Use my own trailer. Wait, what?
What? Wait, what? I don't understand. I have a trailer. Yeah. So you want market? No. This is if you don't have a trailer. Should be. Oh, I guess you're right. That's where the knees are switched. The they changed the position. That's crazy. Okay, well, let's look at that. So, um, we can go to Alamosa. Wonder if I'll pick up the same location as before. Lord Dragon, Noah Long, Arnor Hoxon, Dustin Simbro, Outback Jack, Matthew Bright, Colin Percival. Ryan says, hey, Boomer. Hey, Ryan. And Thor says, in my Volvo, I had to go to the workshop to get new light bulbs. Volvo would not give us the screwdriver that matched the screw. Crazy. That's when you go buy one on the aftermarket. Nope, not the same spot. Nope, it's over here somewhere. Oh, it's the ugly one. Wait. Oh, it's up the hill. I'll lock the differential. Oh, I got to come at it from the other direction. Wow, this is a new one. Yeah, this place is pretty challenging. What's stopping you now? You don't need a shifter. Wolf is here. He says, a bit snug around that drop. Yeah, this isn't a drop. We can pick it up here. This is crazy. You know what 
I should have done, I am going to do. get hung up. Here's a public service announcement from Boomer's Truck NATO Transport. Remember folks, that daylight saving time is tonight, so set your clocks forward one hour. live stream? Nope. Nope, no live stream for me tomorrow. But the Sunday Fun Day Convoy is happening. We'll take that. Elliot Hallisey, Jose Lima, Karis Lynn, Pancake Man, James Gipe Gipe, Jesse 2670, Bjarn Vedar Itri. All right, we're not going too terribly far with this. We're going to do a little sightseeing along the way. We're going out this way. But we're going to go here. I think we can go that way. Guess we'll find out. Most is close enough for government work. Yeah. And flat baiting. Country Bumpkin says, I got a shifter, but I have to use a button on the steering wheel while shifting, and it, it sucks trying to shift, turn, and hit the button at the same time. Yeah. You could just run automatic for a bit until you get your shift topper. Yeah, ooh. I guess we can make it. No, I think we're too... Adam says, I, I didn't touch it, but we were close. I think quarry work needs some kind of work truck. Well, this is a work truck, but I know what you mean. Really? I cleared that. I mean, I know that's not healthy on the tires, but... So this backhoe loader weighs a little, oh, a little over 15,000 pounds. There I go. This part of the map does not like you. No, it doesn't. 
Good thing I locked my uh, differentials. Gives me more pulling power. Well, more traction. I did raise the suspension, so that should help. doesn't like my trailer. do it but I do have a uh, do have it mapped at least for the truck Ryan wishes we got weighed in and out of the quarry well in real life you do but not for this south and drive up a steep mountain again to the job site. Triple Creek and Victor Goldmine. Bob B. QA Library. Randy Disher. Michael Vidberg. Matthew Walter, Redbeard 429. Carlos Jackal, FTG Mike B. Yorhita Rusu, Tyler Thompson, Fada Belly. Areca 79, Zero Fu Manchu. <laughs> Whitby Gaming, Stance Cool, Captain Ticklefinger, Strange and Scary New England, 
Mr. Jacob Morales, Ellen M, Enid Cowboy, Joseph Wooten, Lieber Mendez Bedham, Brandon Will, Long Journey, Des Moines, Sean Duffy, Claudio Diaz, Joan Kai, Vernon Bunch, Matt, 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 David McFlurry, Freddie Shipper, Annie Mton. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, we can rest here too, so I'll just advance the clock. And sleep. Lorm. Simple Sim 72. Marty. Ross Gin. Jin. Preston Bowles. And that is everybody. Yay. Okay, next morning. I bet your cat in the truck doesn't like those bumpy roads. Nope. Oh, we got low air. Nicholas is heading to bed. Okay, Nicholas, thanks for hanging out. Just as road trip nerd says hello. <laughs> hello. Hello to one, goodbye to the other. Wolf says somebody left a red trailer in the midst of all that yellow equipment. Where was that at? Was that um back over yonder somewhere? Thor says, can you bring one of them telehandlers to my Huron farm? Seems <laughs> to be a decent size for the 50,000 liter bales. reset my air. Okay, that's an odd statement. <laughs> I can almost smell the pine trees. Uh, Wolf says, in game, it's Monday. Oh.
it says because I have to change the clocks forward. Huh. The only clock I have to change is the one in my car. All the rest of them will change on their own. Well, there's the one on the stove, the microwave oven. <laughs> but, but my roommate will probably change those. Elliot says, is that your own job on your trailer, Boomer? It, my own job? mean Wolf says it will take me a few weeks to remember how to change the clocks in all my cars and yeah Thor I think we all wish that that they would stop the time shifting thing yep Yeah, remember the flashing digits on the VCR? We all stop messing with that. It seemed rather pointless. be pointless would be a broken pencil. <laughs> well there's a viewpoint down there but I, I don't it's a dead end so I don't want to drive down there. Wolf says the flashing digits on the VCR were supposed to be a clock. Who knew? Bumpkin kept the clock on the VCR set so that we could set a timer to record something. Well, that's the intent. But every time the power would go out, it wouldn't keep the time. It had no battery backup, so it would just flash when it came back on. even for pretend as far as I know.
was big into wrestling. He worked nights, so he would set the VCR to record wrestling. did it on 8-track. <laughs> we had an 8-track recorder. Our stereo had the ability to record on 8-track and we got some blanks. And we would play LPs and record the singles off the LP that we wanted onto the 8-track. here in Denmark. He knows everything about the universe and the stars, but he can't program a VCR even if his life depended on it. That's funny. Oh, 
dislikes like that? Well, I guess I'll just have to watch the replay. And where is that dislike button again? <laughs> Elliot remembers when you had blank VHS tapes and someone would always record over your program or films that you had recorded. I've got a VCR and I've got one of them data transfer devices. Still haven't gotten around to using it to transfer. Not, I don't have movies on VHS, but I have some uh, family videos. Are you speaking from experience, TK? He says, just don't record over your parents' wedding vid. Then you will have to run or start yeah. digging a six-foot hole for yourself. Sometimes those are the correct responses. can hear you. Okay. I just had my connection drop. Wow. So we missed, I missed anything between Trucker King pleading the fifth and Country Bumpkin saying the first thing to go out on a VCR was the rewind ability. Then came the, they came out with the VHS rewinder. Adam says, time for one more short run? Nope. We got the uh, runners-up drawing to do, and then the talk about the... Um, I don't think I'm going to try and pull through there. I've been hitting too many things with my trailer today. So we've got the um, runners-up drawings, and then we're going to talk about the new Euro Truck Challenge. says, how about when Blockbuster hit, please be kind, rewind on their rental tapes. 
I thought that's why someone invented the uh, video uh, VCR reminder or re rewinder video cassette where I I can't talk <laughs> Wolf says, never mind the VHS reminder. Anyone remember the DVD slash CD reminder? What? <laughs> There's no such thing. Adam says, have a good night. All right, Adam. Bumpkin remembers when you got a fine for not rewinding. Yeah. Elliot goes all the way back to when VCR and TV with a remote on a wire connected to the TV or VCR. Okay, I have botched this. whichever kid was handy. Yeah. <laughs> well, it says, I remember being the remote as the real thing hadn't been invented yet. Well, I must be tired. I'm having a tough time with this. Yeah, that was a tough one. Yeah, this is sometimes how it was after the end of a long day and I'd be get to the delivery and struggle to get into the parking spot. If it was even remotely tough. Close enough. Well, it's tougher than it should needed to be. All right. 
I got a backlog here because I didn't want to disturb you anymore. You were having enough trouble. Thor said, Mom had a camcorder to make movies at the holidays. Never have I seen so much footage from inside a camera bag. She would always forget to turn it off after use. Yep, that's funny. Country Bumpkin, how about the floor TV with a record player and speakers that weighed a ton? Yeah, we had those. Elliot asks, can you get reversing cameras for your truck to help you when you're trying to reverse? Possibly. I've never seen it, but it should be something. But it's not helping the reverse, but more about just spotting to make sure you're not backing into something. Because, because this is the sight picture you need right here to watch your trailer going back and lining up. But a backup camera would be nice if you're back in straight and you want to see if there's anything back there you might be about to run into. I remember doing a convoy out of this place. One time, we pulled heavy equipment out of here. I think they were tanks. Yeah, that was cool. We need to do that some more. Bedrock's pretty good at that. Okay. <clears throat> oh, so I'm going to pause that. Do that. And I'm going Ladies to. And gentlemen, it is time for the Wheel of Names. <laughs> okay. That mute button there. I'm going to turn on that right there. <laughs> Wolf, both company vehicles have reverse cameras. The boss hates it when I refer to them as targeting cameras. <laughs> So, we're going to do the drawings for the runners-up for February. Ordinarily, we would have done this last weekend, but we just weren't ready. We had too many things going on. It was kind of a crazy time. So, uh, we've got 27 entries. I don't believe TK already went through this, so... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle this once, twice, three times, and spin. This will be for this equivalent to prize of the second place driver. RD04 Dave. Let's see, where did I put that? ATS. Okay. Now I'm going to delete everything because we're going to do Euro Truck next. We ha don't have near as many in here. There is 12 entries. So everybody on this list has got more opportunities. So we'll shuffle it once, twice, three times, and spin. Bug watch. That guy he gets all the red lights and he keeps winning things. Okay, so that's that the runners up drawing is done i will be messaging the appropriate pug wash and rd04 dave uh with through discord next up is we're going to talk about oh 
you see me? Turn this back off. Yep. We're going to talk about the Euro Truck Truck Hunt Challenge. So I've got a short video, so check it out. Welcome to the 2024 Euro Truck Truck Hunt. This year's truck hunt will be very much like last year's truck hunt with a twist. So we have to find the same six, whoops, same six trucks as last year. Mine, Trucker Kings, Pilots, the Bucks, the Driving Gamers truck, Wolf's truck, and Drive's truck. Plus three others, which I'm not going to tell you about. You'll have to find them on your own. I.e., you'll have to hunt for them. But you have to hunt for all of these, all nine. Look, there's one now, I think. You have to go into photo mode. And this is Pilot's truck. However, it is not the one you're looking for. There's no golden egg. The golden egg would be up here on the side. So, you have to really look at the trucks. So what's this one? Not one of them. If, if, if it's got a truck number 999, it's not one of them. Is this it? That is it. That is Pilot Bro's truck with the golden Easter egg. You need to take a picture of it. If net, yeah, and your picture needs to clearly show the egg. And if necessary, hit the space bar to change your settings, change the position of the sun even, to lighten it up so it's clearly visible. Okay? That's one. Now, in order to get the photos, you need to do this in, well, it helps a lot to do it in solo mode. Because you can just hit the button to go into photo mode and it will pause the game and then you'll start back up again. And if you're not familiar with that, uh, the photo mode, the key bind by default is the equals key. When you hit the equals key, you'll go into photo mode. And then when you're done taking your picture and you can skew around using the keys as shown on the right side. WASD will move you around. Um, hit the equal key again and you go back into driving mode. If you try to do that in a convoy session, if you're moving, I won't let you. And there is drive. Got the golden egg. So here is the Bucks truck with the golden egg. And there's drive. Hung up here. There's drive, but it's not the Nevin Easter egg or a golden egg. So that's not it. Aha! Trucker King. Now it's a little hard to see that egg because the light is coming from the other side. So remember, you can change that. Hit the space bar to go into photo settings. And then you can change this slider. And it'll change where you know based on the time of day it'll move where the sun is so that is trucker king and this looks like wolf maybe yeah it is but it doesn't have the easter egg Ah. And there's drive. Keep in mind that you can't just assume that it is or is not based on the trailer because it could be any trailer. Ah. And here's Wolf, I think. With the Easter egg. And yes, Wolf. 
Okay, once you've captured your, your photo of one of the trucks that are part of the challenge, then you need to post it in the special channel we've set up and tag myself. And then once you do that, periodically I will go in and make a record of it. I will update my spreadsheet. As soon as we get um, people that have found all nine and I'll indicate on your photo that it's been verified. Once we have uh, three people, the first three people to find them will participate in a winner's convoy with me during a live stream. And everyone else who completes it by the, by the end date, and I'll explain that in a second, will be eligible for a drawing or a $20 Steam gift card. We're going to run this through April 6th, midnight Central European time, April 6th or the release of Nebraska for American Truck Simulator, whichever comes first. Because we don't know when Nebraska is gonna release. We know that everybody, or a lot of people are gonna to wanna to jump over there and drive in Nebraska. Our, our focus is gonna shift. If Nebraska, whatever date Nebraska comes out, that will be the end of this challenge. If we reserve the right to modify that rule. So that's it, that's what's happening. Uh, best of luck in the challenge. And if you have any questions, you can post a question in the VTC chat area. Okay, so that's the challenge. Let me uh, quickly show Susan the, I did kind of breeze through this quickly. So ATS for February and Susan is right here, Red Demon 40. Although maybe you should set it to Red Demon 41 now, <laughs> since you just had a birthday. So yes, you did have two entries because you had 17. Can't see it because it's behind thousand you. Thousand miles. What? Oh. Sorry. No worries, Susan. Yeah. You had me freaking out over here. <laughs> like, no, we couldn't have missed Susan. Yeah. Glad we got that worked out. Okay, so back to the challenge. Um, Yeah, and I'm sorry, Susan. I did really breeze through that quickly because I was kind of in a hurry. Um, I wanted to get on to the, the challenge because I didn't, I didn't know how long this part was going to take. So, um, yeah. The, the Euro Truck Challenge, you do have to have the updated logistics mod. So Trucker King posted the link in the channel associated with the challenge. So if you don't see the channel, that up, then which is in it, it's in the BTT area, and it's it's labeled ETS two. BTT Truck Hunt Challenge 2024. So the rules are posted. A link to this video that I just played is in there. And there is a link, should be in there, a link to the updated mod, the logistics mod. So you should have everything you need. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. Well, actually, I think that's going to do it. Tomorrow, there is the uh, Sunday Fun Day Convoy. There's a few people that are in it. And Trucker King, I think, will be streaming. I think only Trucker King will be streaming. So that will be 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern, and 7 p.m. Uh, London. Well, I don't even know now because the time's changing for us in the U.S. So I don't know. Anywho, that's going to do it. Um, thank you, everyone, for being here. Thanks for the super chats or super sticker coffee and whatever else. But mostly thanks for being here and check out the Sunday Funday Convoy tomorrow. Yeah.